and welcome to Mr Barton's Gapminder World video number four. Now this week we're going to take a look at two perceived measures of the kind of health of a nation. That's the BMI, the body mass index, and also the quality of a nation's teeth. So let's start with the body mass index. Now what I'd like you to imagine is if I was to plot all the countries in the world on a graph and on the x-axis I have their average GDP per person, so a measure of their wealth, and on the y-axis I had a measure of their BMI for the average male, what do you think it would look like? Well, here's the answer. In 1980 it looks like that, and as you can see quite a strong positive correlation there. Now let's just explain what this BMI index does. So it's all about the kind of weight you are and the height you are and working out a ratio of those two things. And what the numbers mean is that anything below 20 is perceived to be underweight. Between 20 and 25 is a normal weight, 25 and 30 is overweight, and above 30 is obese. Now it's by no means a perfect measure and it's had a lot of criticism, but broadly speaking, that's what those numbers stand for. So let's go back to our uh, graph again. So this is in 1980. So 30 would be the obese line, and no country on average is there. Um, if we just highlight some um, kind of regions, we'll see bottom left of the graph, you have all the African countries. Now they are, some of them are below 20. Now as we said, below 20 is underweight. And remember, this is the average weight. And there's a lot of inequality in these countries. So that if the average weight is under 20, you can be pretty sure that quite a sizable amount of the population is significantly under 20. If we just highlight some of the Western uh, European countries and Central Asian, you can see that they're towards the top right of the graph. OK, let's have a look what happens to the world as we press play and move forward for the next kind of 20 or so years. Hit play. And you can see lots of movement there, but significantly, look at those tiny red dots that are shooting up. I'll just show you that again with a bit more control. Keep your eye on the little red dots. They are absolutely flying. Now remember, a movement to the right on this graph is a country getting richer, and a movement upwards on this graph is a country's body mass index going up, or a country getting heavier, in a sense. Look at all these countries. Look at that one up there. Nauru up there. And look at some of these countries, the Cook Islands. And if I just concentrate on one, let's go for Tonga. That's a body mass index of 31. That's on average, the members of that population are obese, as this measure would define obese to be. Okay, uh, let's pick out another couple of countries here. We've got down here in 2006, we've got Congo with a body mass index of 20, which again is borderline of being underweight. And again, look at that income per capita, 338. And if we just highlight the United States, a country where obesity is perceived to be quite a big problem, has got a body mass index of 28. So once again, that's pretty close to the borderline, and that's for the average population of males. Okay, right. Um, so we've had a look at that. Now, let's. what do you think would happen if I change the variable on this y-axis to the quality of a nation's teeth? Would there still be a strong positive correlation? Would it be the case that the richer you are, the better teeth you are because of health, better health care? Or would, there be, would it be a case of the richer you are, the worse your teeth are because you have more money to spend on sugar and sweets and all that kind of stuff? Uh, once again, only one way to find out. So let's give this a little click. And I think this is down in health. And there it is, teeth. And what this is, it's the number of bad teeth per 12-year-old, defined to be the number of fillings or missing teeth that they have. So it'll take a while, and there you go. Now that's pretty much as close to no correlation as you could possibly get. And lots of interesting cases here. If I highlight the African countries, again, they're down here to pretty high quality teeth, but is that to do with a lack of being able to measure them, or is it to do with the lack of a range of food available? Um, but again, you've got some outliers. You've got some African countries with pretty high levels of bad teeth per child. Again, if I highlight the European countries, you'd expect them to be towards the right of the graph because they're richer, but the quality of teeth is spread all over the show. The worst offenders in this are Saudi Arabia with an average of 5.9 bad teeth per 12-year-old. So there you go, two pretty interesting measures of the health of a nation. Once again, hope you found that useful, and I'll be back with another Gapminder World video next week. Take care. Bye-bye.